All right, so this small little device is one of my favorite accessories for the PC, and I'm a little surprised more people don't know about it. Whether you're a content creator, an avid gamer, or you just use your computer a lot, you probably know that dealing with multiple sources of audio can be annoying at times. This little device is called the PC Panel Mini, and while it makes audio on the PC much more manageable, it has even more utility to offer. Let's talk about it. All right, so out of the box, it's pretty minimal. You get the PC Panel Mini itself, a 3M adhesive strip for mounting it under your desk if you wish to do so, and a braided USB-C to USB-A cable. The PC Panel Mini has an impressively high quality build feel with a mostly metal enclosure and clickable knobs. It actually kind of reminds me a little bit of the Scarlett audio interfaces from Focusrite, which are just little tanks if you're familiar with those. The PC Panel's bread and butter is volume control. Using the PC Panel software, you can assign different applications and hardware, like a USB microphone for example, to each of the individual knobs to allow quick control over your levels. Basically, it takes this and allows you to control it using these. Pretty cool. Now this is just a review of the PC Panel Mini. If you're looking for a more comprehensive setup guide, uh, go ahead and check out their YouTube channel. They already have very solid step-by-step -step tutorials on how to run through that software. With that being said, in my opinion, the software itself is very intuitive and streamlined. You can assign multiple profiles to your device along with custom RGB for each knob. Oh, and uh, by the way, those clickable knobs can actually be used as programmable buttons to use it for things like media controls, muting different applications and devices, switching between different profiles, and more. For me personally, I keep my setup pretty basic. My first channel in purple is for controlling my Discord volume. The second green channel is for Modern Warfare 2 because that's the main game I currently play on PC right now. The third orange channel is for Firefox, whether I want to watch a YouTube video in the background or listen to some music. And the last knob assigned in blue is just sort of a master fader, a overall system volume. Each of the knobs are set to mute upon clicking, but the exception of the last knob being set as a profile toggle. I should also note for RGB fans out there that there are a few different animations you can cycle through. And as I said before, you can assign a custom color for each of the channels, and you can even set it up so that the brightness levels match up with the volume that your dial is set to. A really awesome feature in my opinion to easily gauge where your levels are at. For you streamers out there, it has OBS and voice meter integration in the software settings that you can use for controlling your stream audio or even changing scenes. Simply put, I think this is a very practical little accessory that has a lot of utility for a lot of different Windows users. I suppose if I have any nitpicks or criticism to give out, um, one would be that I've heard on various spots of the internet that the software doesn't seem to be supported a whole lot, meaning that even though it's great, it's not receiving a lot of regular updates, at least that's what I've heard. And in regards to my own experience, one thing I don't like is the shipping experience was kind of odd. I bought this thing with my own money. I didn't receive it for free or anything like that. And after purchasing the item, I didn't receive any sort of email confirmation or any sort of tracking information regarding my shipment. After a handful of days, it just happened to show up at my door and it arrived in a timely manner. There was no problem with that. But besides the confirmation that I got from PayPal that I actually paid for this thing, there was no sort of tracking email or any updates of that kind. And it was kind of odd. I was almost on the verge of reaching out to the company itself before I happened to see that my product arrived. But yeah, I guess just buyer beware. Uh, you may run into some shipping bugaboos when you buy this thing. So I don't know. While $70 is a big asking price for some people, the PC Panel Mini is a very high quality tool that offers a lot of versatility. Personally, I'm very happy with this purchase and it's quickly become one of my favorite accessories for my PC. I love being able to on the fly adjust my game, Discord, and music levels individually and simply can't go back to not having it. Also, if money isn't an issue, you might want to check out the PC Panel Pro. It essentially has the same functionality as the Mini, but it has physical faders, allowing you more options to play with. I myself actually prefer the smaller, more minimal design of the PC Panel Mini, plus it's cheaper, so I'm happy with what I bought here. But yeah, if either the PC Panel Mini or PC Panel Pro sounds of interest to you, I'll leave a link to their website in the description down below. And yeah, that about wraps it up for this one, everyone. Thank you as always for watching the video and checking out the channel. If you have any questions about the PC Panel Mini that I neglected to talk about in this video, feel free to ask away in the comments down below. I'll try to get to as many questions as I can. Feel free to hit us up on Twitter and consider joining our Discord community server, all listed in the description down below. And yeah, that's enough rambling out of me. Thank you again so much for watching. My name is Blake, and for all things tech, games, to really anything nerdy in between, be sure and subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time.